Chapter on the virtues of Uthman bin Affan Abi Amr al Qurashi. May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who digs the well of Ruma will have paradise. Uthman dug it. He also said, He who equips the army of Al Usra, that is, Ghazwa of Tabuk, will have paradise. Uthman equipped it. Narrated Abu Musa, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, entered a garden and ordered me to guard its gate. A man came and asked permission to enter. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Admit him and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise. Behold, it was Abu Bakr. Another man came and asked the permission to enter. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Admit him and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise. Behold, it was Omar. Then another man came asking the permission to enter. The Prophet, peace be upon him, kept silent for a short while and then said, Admit him and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise with a calamity which will befall him. Behold, it was Uthman bin Affan. Asim, in another narration, said that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was sitting in a place where there was water, and he was uncovering both his knees or his knee, and when Uthman entered, he covered them. Narrated Ubadullah bin Adi bin al khiyar Al-Miswar bin Makhrama and Abdurrahman bin Al-Aswad bin Abd Yaghuth said to me, What forbids you to talk to Uthman about his brother Al-Walid? Because people have talked much about him. So I went to Uthman, and when he went out for salah, prayer, I said to him, I have something to say to you, and it is a piece of advice for you. Uthman said, O oh man from you, Mamr said. I said that he said, I seek refuge with Allah from you. So I left him and went to them. Then the messenger of Uthman came, and I went to him, that is Uthman. Uthman asked, What is your advice? I replied, Allah sent Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the truth, and revealed the divine book, that is the Qur'an, to him. And you were amongst those who followed Allah and his messenger, and you participated in the two emigrations, to Ethiopia and to al Madina, and enjoyed the company of Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, and saw his way. No doubt, the people are talking much about Al-Walid. Uthman said, Did you receive your knowledge directly from Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him? I said, No, but his knowledge did reach me, and it reached even to a virgin in her seclusion. Uthman said, Amma ba'd. Then after, Allah sent Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the truth, and I was amongst those who followed Allah and his Messenger, and I believed in whatever he that is, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was sent with, and participated in two emigrations, as you have said. And I enjoyed the company of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and gave the bayah, pledge to him. By Allah, I never disobeyed him, nor did I cheat him, till Allah took him unto him. Then I treated Abu Bakr and then Omar similarly, and then I was made caliph. So don't I have rights similar to theirs? I said, yes. He said, then what are these talks reaching me from your people? Now concerning what you mentioned about the question of Al-Walid, if Allah will, I shall deal with him according to what is right. Then he called Ali and ordered him to flog him, and Ali flogged him, that is, Al-Walid, eighty lashes. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, ascended the mountain of Uhud with Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman, and it shook. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Be calm, O Uhud. I think he struck it with his foot and added, There is none on you but a prophet, a siddiq, and two martyrs. The two martyrs were Umar and Uthman. See Hadith number 3675. Narrated Ibn Umar. May Allah be pleased with him. During the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we considered nobody as equal to Abu Bakr and then Umar and then Uthman coming next to him in superiority. And then we used not to differentiate between the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Narrated Uthman, the son of Mohab, an Egyptian who came and performed the Hajj pilgrimage to the house Kaaba at Mecca, saw some people sitting. He inquired, Who are these people? Somebody said, They are the Quraysh. He said, Who is the old man sitting amongst them? The people replied, He is Abdullah bin Umar. He said, O oh, Ibn Umar, I want to ask you about something. Please tell me about it. Do you know that Uthman fled away on the day of the Battle of Uhud? Ibn Umar said, Yes. The Egyptian man said, Do you know that Uthman was absent on the day of the Battle of Badr and did not join it? Ibn Umar said, Yes. 
The man said, Do you know that he failed to attend a Ridwan pledge and did not witness it? That is Hudabiyah pledge. Ibn Umar said, Yes. The man said, Allahu Akbar. Ibn Umar said, Let me explain to you all these three things. As for his flight on the day of Uhud, I testify that Allah has excused him and forgiven him. And as for his absence from the battle of Badr, it was due to the fact that the daughter of Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, was his wife, and she was sick then. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said to him, You will receive the same reward and share of the booty as any one of those who participated in the Battle of Badr if you stay with her. As for his absence from ar radwan pledge, had there been any person in Makkah more respectable than Uthman to be sent as a representative, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, would have sent him instead of him. No doubt Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, had sent him, and the incident of ar radwan pledge happened after Uthman had gone to Makkah. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, held out his right hand, saying, This is Uthman's hand. He stroked his other hand with it, saying, This pledge is on behalf of Uthman. Then Ibn Omar said to the man, Bear these excuses in mind with you. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, ascended the mountain of Ohad with Abu Bakr, Omar, and Uthman, and it shook. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, be calm, O Ahad. I think he struck it with his foot and added, There is none on you but a prophet, a Siddiq, and two martyrs. Footnote. Ibn Umar agreed that Uthman had been absent in these three cases referred to by the Egyptian, but at the same time he defended him and proved that Uthman was no longer to blame for that.